Hello everybody, this is my kayak, so I thought I'd do a video and show you how I have it all. This is a basic kayak that you'd buy. <coughs> it's a Galaxy Sturgeon. It's, uh, I think, nearly four metres long. Good little kayak, only about five years now. It's got rudder is really useful. And then that's operated by your feet up this end. There. So this is the uh, centre hat. Nothing in it at the minute but later on I'll show you. That's where I'll keep weights and things where the seat goes. This is a centre console thing. Not very practical really when you're in the boat because you can't reach it. But I've put a battery in there for the uh, fish finder. That's the uh, connector there. We'll come to more detail of that later on. Just one more thing, it's a little safety thing I've attached. A piece of strong rope with a loop, so if I capsize and I have trouble getting back in, that will be in the water and I can put my foot in it and help lift myself up over onto the boat. I haven't had to use it yet luckily, but one day you never know. So that's the basic boat and now I'll show you how I have it all set up for fishing. So this is where I keep my anchor and the reel line that's attached to it and float. So generally pull this out like this. Attach it here with this ring or deep or clip, whatever we call them. So that's clipped on there. And then I've got a meter of chain. a piece of strong nylon and a small anchor there we go um, and the cable tight there in case it ever gets stuck so it's stopped over the side and then I let the line out through there there's a dive reel and then that disappears and then depending what way I'm facing generally I pull it to the rear of the kayak and pull it along and then this all pulls out behind the boat This would be floating. At the top of this wall, this is a fall from the coming shop again, just off to all it float. And then the anchor will be on the bottom. <coughs> so here's my uh, fish finder echo sounder. I use it mainly for seeing the depth of where I am, really. That plugs on there, push it down, do it up, and that's locked in place safety device I've got a piece of wire with a little hook on there and that just clips on there just in case I knock it off while I'm paddling. I'm going to adjust it, take the cover off, turn it on and plug it in. Plugs at the back, battery one here and then the information plug goes in here. And then turn it on. And then I generally use it just on traditional. Of course at the minute, because I'm not on water, it's not going to do anything. 
but I find that the best one for my what I need. So in the centre here, open this little hatch up. Should have a bung in there really, but um, it's in there. Oh, there it is. I've got two bungs. This is a. Uh, I've got one that I've drilled holes in, so that if I was to ever do live bait baiting or any live baits, you can put it in there and that fills with water and it's always fresh water but for now I use it for my tackle tray mostly weights and bits and pieces it's got a lid on it and that goes down, that's all nice and easy to access so next up is my tackle box and bait holder bag and cutting board and that just zoom out a bit sits on the middle here Make it too bad. Comes in, these go in there, in there, like that. So now, okay, then lock them in place, and that's done. So that's in the forward position for when I'm pedalling along. Doesn't restrict my feet or anything. I've cut the board. With a notch in it. Um, as you can see I've got a little cutting board there for cutting bait on. This is some tackle in here. My GoPro stand up there. So I can put my GoPro on there and film myself or film where I'm going. Moves all over the place. Out to the sides. Tackle box and a cord bag for bait. Lives in there. That keeps it pretty cool, especially if we've got some frozen bait as well. Some tackle in the top, and bits and pieces. And then this whole thing slides forward so that I can access it easily from the seat. Mind stretching about, moving about in a kayak is a bit awkward, so to do that is quite nice. I always take a spare life jacket with me this blue one it's an inflatable one I always keep it here um, I just pull a tag and it'll automatically inflate and I'll do that I'll wear a PDF PFD even and um, if I was to get in trouble I can just reach into the boat and that would give me a bit of extra buoyancy so that is really my setup. I do attach a rope at the front of here sometimes for just pulling the kayak out of water. I've got my sliding bait tray and tackle box and that's all you need really. Oh that's all I need. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.